man, to get right. this chicken, man. It's the real food right it's here. It's the food brother. right here. You ain't, you about, you trying to go, you trying to leave it, you ain't going to even get the real name of the Lord, man. See? You supposed to be sti right sticking here. around to sit here and listen, and you might get the name of the Lord. But see, um, now see you not you count yourself not even worthy, man, to receive the true um, name, man. Man, but you keep telling him to jump a script, him to jump a script. That's the same thing. Whether you know it or not, this is the village. This is the, this is the, this is the village of churches. And that's what they do in five and in the Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, you trying to tell me what, what you say? They do what? But Indiana is the village of churches. Huh? Indiana is the village of churches. First of all, it's about 15 Baptist churches right here in this community. Yeah, they ain't shit. And, and that's what they do. Did somebody get uh, 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 Acts 7 and uh, I think it's 48? That's what the do. They jump from one scripture. And um, I got the, uh, and they got the, the land uh, precept land. upon precept. I got, I got that, that too. Con, con. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But that's how, that's how we, we can't we can't come out here off our own minds, bro. We got to go through the scriptures. Okay? Ain't no difference. Okay, then that's how we're doing it. This is, a, we got to go by order, all right? The scripture says let everything be done decently in order. So when we come out here, man, we're we not going to come off our own okay, top so of our own head. Yeah. Say what? You say you got Isaiah 28 and 10? Alright, go ahead. One of y'all okay. pull it up. I got it. Come on, let these scriptures this come through. This is Isaiah 28 and 10. For precept must be upon precept. You hear that? Precept upon precept. Hold on, hold on. Precept must be upon precept. That's talking about the scriptures, man. That's why we going from one scripture to the other, because we linking them all up together, man. Right. And that's you know what I'm saying? saying? That's how you get the understanding of the Bible, man, that's when right. you link up each precept, man. Because one precept might say this, but it's going to get you to, to um, the true meaning in this precept. It's going to reveal it to you. That's why it say to read it like that. Go ahead, continue on reading. And, and also, land back off what he was saying, that's also a way that you know that the word is true. Whatever is uh, speaking on, it's going to have something to back it up, you know? So, uh, for a precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. So that means from the beginning of the book to the end of the book, you're going to be bouncing back, back and forth, because each scripture has something that backs it up, you know, to, to, to verify the, uh, the truth of it. Right, con, to confirm, to confirm the other scripture. That's why you have to do it like that. I can't just sit here, open this up, and read it like it's a novel. You know, because then it started not making sense. Okay. You know? So you got to link up the precepts. We can't come on here. I mean, you can read it like that, Salakia. You can read the Bible like that. You can read it all from, the, from cover to cover. But you got to learn the precepts, man, to get the true understanding of what you mean. Right. Or what the scriptures are saying. Go ahead, pull up your uh, precept, brother. See? He can to pull up a precept. First, first John five and uh, three. Uh -huh. For this is hold the. On, hold on, hold on. What's love? That's, That's a good love. question. I'm asking you, what, what is what is love? That's a good question. According to the scriptures. God is love. Okay. Okay. Man, I'm heavy, man. I'd be 65 years old come January 12th. Listen, listen. I'm gonna lay here and listen to what you say. But I, I know the way. I was taught. The way. Hold on. You what? You know the word? I know the way. What's the way? Hold on, what's the way then? Straight. Straight is the way? No, it's the gate. Okay, hold on. Brother, pull that up, uh, Matthew 7 and 13. Let's get that. We're going to find out what that means. One of you brothers pull up uh, um, uh, um, in the same chapter, uh, 7 and 21. Hey, hey. I don't think you know what straights mean, brother. Hold on, hold on. What you got? Go ahead, go ahead. We're going to go there and we're going to pull that up. Go ahead, finish reading that up. Okay. For this is the love of the Most High that we keep his commandments. Hold on, what? Say that again. For this is the love of the Most High that we may keep his commandments. Go ahead, read. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not grievous. So that's the love. The, the love is to keep the commandments of the Most High. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, what it, do, it shows what? The fear of the Most High and obedience, man. Obedience is going make, to make you fear the Lord. And it's going to have you on order, man, to do his commandments, man. Hey. That means you love the Most High. That's what love is, brother. Man, tells you, love, tells man. you what love means. What love means right there. You know what I mean? It's, it's we're uh, not coming uh, out of our own hearts what we're saying to you. You know, because the Lord, the Lord created us. You know, He's the one that knows what's good for us. And that's, that's 
why the power said to uh, be obedient to your parents. You know, that's why that was a commandment because he is also our parent. You know, so being obedient is what is what gains you favor with your parents. Because when you're obedient, so you gonna they roll do, off? You gonna leave, man, and not get the name of the Lord? Hey, come here, boy. You wasn't in church. Come here. <laughs> this is church this is right here. It's the real church. church. No, bro. No, you know what I'm saying? The Lord told us not to deal with temples made by uh, hands, bro. Yeah, That's right. Hold on, slap you one thing at a time. We're going to go back into that. But get that Matthew 7 and 13. You don't know what straights me. We finna, we finna I got straighten right them here, out bro. with that. Go yeah. ahead, read it, bro. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye at the straight gate. He said, hold on, Salakia. This is the Lord speaking, man. He said, enter ye in the straight gate. Gate. Now hold on. Do you know what the straight gate is, man? You want to look up the definition? The path of righteousness doing these commandments. What is the path to righteousness? Not smoking, not drinking, doing all this stupid stuff these folks out here. These are the stuff that you're supposed to give up, right? Your body, your flesh, you got to get this stuff up. Your flesh got to give it up, right? Right? You gone? We're going to keep on teaching. We're going to keep on going for edification. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway. But anyway, the word straight, it means difficulties, man. That's so right. when you come into the straights, you put off, you, it's part of putting off the old, old man, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to go into uh, difficulties, man, putting off the old man. You might lose your woman. You might lose your job. You might lose your children. That's right. You might lose your family members, man. You're going to go through some hell, man being in this truth, man. But that's part of bearing your cross, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You got to grow your beard. You might have been a ladies' man, you know what I'm saying, in the world. Now the ladies don't like you no more. They don't want you. All of that you giving up, man, become Sir Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That, that word, straights, means different. Go ahead, read that, brother. Yeah, for the again. Love the most time, man. Go ahead, read it again, brother. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye at the straight gate. Enter ye in at the straight gate, man. Enter ye in. Get ready for the difficulties, man. Go ahead, read. For wide the gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in direct. There's be many there that go in well into the gate of destruction, man. You know why? Because they can't handle the difficulties, man. They can't go through the hell. They, they can't take the persecution for Yahweh by Shem man. That's they right. can't put their flesh in subjection. Man, they cross. And the reason why is because the Spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with them, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They not build up in the faith, man. They not fasting. They not praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh uh, Go ahead, brother. Hey, all right, is you still? Forget it. Uh, go ahead, uh, what you, what you had? Hold on, let me finish here. They're not built up in the faith, man. So that's why two thirds of our people, they're gonna be on that wide and broad uh, path for what? Destruction, man. I got precept. Go ahead, pull up. Go ahead, pull up with y'all, guys, brothers. This morning, Matthew 7 and 20. Yeah, come on, go ahead. Matthew 7, 20. Wherefore but wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Con, wherefore for their fruits you shall know them, man. Hey, you see these people in these churches, man? These are the pastors' fruits. These are the same people that go to the club on, on Tuesday night, Wednesday. Friday Saturday and night. Saturday night, man. These are they fruit, man. These are wicked people still, man, because they didn't come through the straits. They're not coming through the straits. They think it's a game, man. I got Go ahead, read. Continue on reading, bro. Not, not every, everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of, of heaven. Everybody that say, Lord, Lord, ain't going to enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. Because, man, you still breaking the laws, man. And you don't know his name. Go ahead, read. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. But, but ye who do the will of the heavenly Father which is in heaven. And which was that? Fallen laws? 
statutes and commandments of the Most High That's to the right. best of your ability, man. That's right. That's the will, man. That's right. The, also, the will is going to come down here to do the work, man. That's, That's right. right. We serving the Lord right now, man. That's right. But this is not just, this is not uh, uh, um, the end of it, man. You got to serve the Lord every day. Huh. Go ahead, read. It's a race. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, we have not prophesied. Have we prophesied not, uh, not prophesied in thy name? Salakia. And in thy name have cast out devils. And see, and that's talking about people, brothers that know the name of the Lord, man. Because you got some brothers, so-called brothers, out here in the truth, man. But they ain't doing the will of the Heavenly Father either, man. You got some niggas, man, believe it or not, man, ain't nobody around. They'll eat a piece of fucking pork. This niggas out here drinking Pepsi. Calling they self in the truth, man. Go ahead, read. Commit his brothers right now doing that shit, man. Committing adultery, man. Because ain't nobody around. Looking. Thinking you getting away with it, man. The Lord see you niggas, man. That's right. Go ahead, read. And in thy name, uh, done many wonders, wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. See? In the name, they said they, they, they going to profess that they did many wonderful works. But then the Lord going to profess to them, I never knew you. And why? Because he didn't, man. Because they weren't part of the sheep. They was never part of the sheep for to begin with, man. Somebody pulled up St. John chapter 10, man. I got something They, they was you. never, ever part of the sheep fold, man. The Lord was never dealing with these wicked niggas, man. I got preset. You got more? Depart, depart oh. from me, ye that work iniquity. He said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, man. And then they ain't talking about niggas who in the truth, man. So called in the truth, the Lord gonna say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, man. Because you niggas never had to fear the Lord on you. You never did, man. You just came in to do this, man, because you just thought it was something cool to do, man. You thought it was cool. I want to be like one of them. That means that the true man of the Lord, they light is truly shining, man. Like, like the Lord said, he said, let, th let, let your light so shine that others may want to serve your heavenly father. But, but it's brothers that see that, but they come in and they don't come in all the way, man. These niggas have, have stepped in, man. Go ahead, brother. More. Therefore, whosoever heareth my the, the, these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken unto him a wise man. Con. And those are the brothers, the brothers who, who truly try, man. Slocky. Truly doing, man. Truly doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Those are the ones the Lord gonna liken, man. Those are the men that fear the Heavenly Father, man. Those are the ones that delight in the law of the Lord, man. Got more. Which built his house upon a rock. Which built his house upon a rock, man. A strong foundation, man. Reading the first five books. Getting the laws, man. Reading it in order, man. Being in order, man. Fasting and praying, man. More. And the rain descended and the floods came. And the winds blew and beat upon that house. And it fell not. And it fell not. That means all the tribu all the tribulations, all the hard time that that brother going to face, all those difficulties, being in the straits, he rooted, man. He rooted and grounded, man. That's a faithful soldier, man. That's right. Ain't nothing going to make him waver from this truth, man. Make him fall out, man. He going to stand firm in it, man. No matter what. He going to be faithful to the end. And that's because, man, Party elect, maybe, man. You got yeah. more. And then also, it made him strong, man. All them tribulations that he went through built him up, man. Made him tough enough to with um to endure huh. uh, tribulations and the things that was to come, man. You know, cause he, the Lord, and that's the thing. The Lord, you you know, the Lord dealing with you when He raised you up going through the tribulations, man. Because you're not weak, you know. Like these Edomites, when they lose something, they're ready to jump off a fucking building somewhere, man. They're ready to kill themselves, man. But see, but 
Yeah, that's true, but even two thirds of our people weak as hell, man. Kind. You know what I'm saying? And that's because the spirit of the Lord ain't on them, man. I ain't dealing with them, man. That's why, man. These they, they root. They not rooted in the uh in the uh, uh the word, man. That's they right. not rooted in the truth. These people out here are rooted in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? They rooted down into this place, man. They still plugged up in the matrix, man. And all and what's gonna bring them down is fucking nukes, man. Nuclear nuclear fire coming here, man. Fire and brimstone, man. They not gonna be able to escape that, man. Go ahead, brother. For it was founded upon a rock. Mm -hmm. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. God, and that's these people right here, man, that's riding around, looking at us, pointing, blowing the horn, waving, looking at the sign, smiling, not stopping. Hey. Instead, what's happening to them, and they don't even realize it, they being sealed up, man, for destruction. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's what's happening right now. All these people riding past looking, that's Israelites, you being sealed up for destruction, man. Go ahead, read. Which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the, fl the floods came, and the winds blew. And that's and talking about brothers in the truth again. It's brothers in the truth. They don't even read the Bible, man. That's not even reading the scriptures, man. They, they just in here, man. They just here. They don't have no foundation, man. Nothing. They don't even have no faith to build up on, man. So they ass gonna be like, they gonna be like a lightweight, man, like a feather. That's easily taken up by the wind, man. Talk to it, bro, man. Go ahead, read, bro. And the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell. And it fell, man. What's and, that? Go ahead. And what? And great was the fall of it. And great was the fall of it, man. And that fall, what's going to come down and beat on upon that house, man? It's them nukes, man. That nuclear fight. It's going to be a terrible fall, man. Your eyes going to melt in the perfect heat. Sean, look at this sign. This right here. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Get that. I got a book, precept too, though. Book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass that in all the land saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's two parts of Israel, man. It's talking about, man. That's like, like um, out of three Israelites, two of them, man. Two Israelites out of three gonna be destroyed, man. Go ahead, read. But the third shall be. Wait a minute. Slocky. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. The third shall be there, left therein. That's that one out of that three. He gonna be left therein. The other two thirds gonna be destroyed, man. They gonna be cut off and they gonna die, man. They gonna die by them nuclear fires, man. That's right. Go ahead, read. And I, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined. And, and that fire right now is this hell we in, man. This captivity we in. The Lord bringing us through this fire, through this hell, man. The shit that we go through every single day, man, to refine us, man. It's the righteous kind of fire. It's the spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, man. He bringing us through, through these trials and tribulations, man. Yeah, he ain't talking about the, the same fire. He's not talking about the nuclear fire. It's a different fire, a righteous fire, man. Is it more? And third, and, the, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried and they shall call on my name and I will hear them. That's what we're doing right now, man. Right. We calling on the name of the Lord, man. How about shimmy I was shot, man. That's right. We, we crying out to the Lord every day, man. You know, teaching his words, crying out, crying out his name, man. Uh, who got that, John? I, I had it. I, I got the John. But I was going to finish this. Go ahead, read and it. I will hear them, and I will say, it is my... 
people and they shall say, the Lord is my power. That's right. And that's what we're saying right now. We're saying that the Lord is our power, man. 